Section two of this training will focus specifically on references. Now, one thing to note with the references is that all in-text citations should have a corresponding reference and all references should have a corresponding in-text citation. So there should be a balance between the two. Some basic information. References should start a brand new page. They should be incorporated at the end of a document. The word references should be written at the top of the page, centered, bold, plural. They should be organized according to alphabetical order and a hanging indent should be used. Please note that they are still double spaced with APA from start to finish. The paper should be double spaced, but there is no extra spaces included between the references themselves. Now some notable changes between APA 6th edition and 7th edition. With 6th edition, the hyperlinks were removed. With APA 7th edition, they're embedded. So they should be blue, they should be underlined, they should be linked to a resource. With 6th edition, we could either represent the DOI via a link or through a set of numbers. Now it is simply through a link. DOI colon is not written before it. With 6th edition, we would write retrieved from before the URL, but now no language is incorporated before the URL, it's simply the link. With books, we used to write the city and state before the publisher's name. Now no location is required, it is simply the publisher's name. And with 6th edition, we did not incorporate retrieval dates, but now with 7th edition, we do use them, but only when the online source is designed to change, as for example would be if you were using a website for a world population clock. Now some common examples that you will see students incorporate in their papers. Books with the DOI. So we start with the author's information. Last name followed by the initial. Year is in parentheses. The title of the book is italicized. This is an example of how you would format an edition. And then the publisher's name followed by the DOI link embedded. So note again, the DOI should not simply be a set of numbers. It is a link that starts with HTTPS. And again, the title is in lower case, something to note. With journal articles, the author's information is the same. However, if you have more than one author, you're using an ampersand, and it'll come before the last author in that list, no matter how many you have. Year is in parentheses, article title, is not italicized, but it does follow lowercase. Journal name is italicized, volume number is italicized, the issue number comes in parentheses, followed by the page numbers. The DOI will follow that. So again, the article title is in lowercase, the journal name title case. Here's an example of a journal article with more than 21 authors. So. You would list the first 19 following the same format and then the very last one in that list. To separate this information, we use ellipses and there is no ampersand. Year comes in parentheses, title of the article and the remainder of the information is exactly the same. A web page on a website. So we'd start with the author's information if that's available followed by year, month, date. So that's the ideal amount of information you would want to incorporate about the website um, in terms of the date. But if there was only the year and the month, we would include that and bare minimum, just the year. Please note that when the month is written out, it's written out in its entire form. Title of the website is italicized, it's in lowercase, followed by the site name and the URL link. Note, it is embedded. If there is a group author, we'd start with the group name, followed by year, month, day, title of the website, again, is italicized and lowercase, and then the URL link. Now, if there is no author, the title is going to move into the author position, essentially. So it would start with the title, followed by the date, followed by the site name, and then the URL link. And last but not least, if they are streaming a video or, or referencing a streamed video, the person or group who uploaded the video would come first, so they would act as the author, followed by year, month, day, title of the video, italicized, lowercase, and we would write video in brackets, so that's a descriptor of what this is. 
site name, and then the URL link. Now I have compiled a cheat sheet for you with information regarding APA 7th edition. Um, I will send an email after this training so you can have access to that and use it to compare what your students are turning in against this. So it's not something that you feel as if you need to memorize at the onset of this change. Additionally, for your students, as they're transitioning into a different format, feel free to recommend the Writing Center. If they only want us to look at their APA, that is entirely fine for them to um, indicate when they're submitting their paper to us. But you can also ask that they select that it was made mandatory by a, their professor. And if they do that, then I will know to BCC you on that feedback. So then you can also see what I'm suggesting that they change regarding APA. Additionally, if you have any questions, I am always available through writinghelp at westcliff.edu. I hope this was helpful.